Hello everyone, this is Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are your August 2016 Angel Oracle Card Readings. For this month, I, because I'm out in the forest right now, I will probably be using for most of you the Fairies Oracle Cards by Doring Virtue. Uh, of course, pulling a color card from the Secret Language of Color Oracle Deck by Anna Seagal. And, you know, if it starts to feel right for some of you, I might use the Magdalene Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. There's still a lot of noise here, even though I'm in the woods, <laughs> if you can imagine. All right, guys, but I wanted to let you know, if you want to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com, the services tab. Once you make your purchase, you're going to be brought back to my website. And under the thank you tab, there's going to be a submission form. You must submit the submission form. That's the list I go by. So if you don't submit that, chances are pretty good I'm going to overlook you. You don't want that to happen, okay? So just make sure you're doing that. Also, if you would like to support me on Patreon, I will leave all that information down below. And I am now on Gumroad. So for this month, the extra readings that I'm going to do, now the July Ascension readings are still there on on Gumroad. And I'm like I said, I'm using that instead of Vimeo. I'm going to leave all that information down below. So we have the July Ascension videos. Um, I'm going to put the August extra videos up there. And I'm going to treat it just like an extra reading. All right, so it's sort of like we're going to go through some stuff here. If you want more, you go on over to Gumroad, you can get a little bit extra for that month. Okay, so no specific theme per se. There's also a course there on how to perceive your angels. It's not a mediumship course, it's just day to day life, how you perceive your angels. And also, I just put up another course on my take on how to read angel oracle cards. So let's get started. Hi there, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for August. 2016. Oh, there's the first card. Quiet time. Okay, you guys need a little bit of a rest. Okay, it's so gorgeous out here. <laughs> Those bugs are kind of loud though, I do admit it. Oh, you guys got a romantic partner coming in, or you're rejuvenating with a romantic partner. Interesting. Okay. Let's talk about it. So we got our hikers coming around again. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen other signs, but these same hikers keep going around and around and around. All right. So the first card we have is quiet time. So it's time for you to just relax and spend a little time maybe with a romantic partner. Now this is going to have a different meaning for each of you. All right. So put work aside. You need a little alone time, but also there's probably someone in your life who wants you to lay down the pen, close the computer, <laughs> okay? So pay attention to that this month. Now, if you don't have a romantic partner, um, one could be coming in, definitely, or you are having a deeper connection with an existing partner, okay, or somebody that you've already started to get to know, but now um, there's that deeper connection happening. But if you're single and you want to stay single, <laughs> make sure you are honoring that energy within you and giving yourself a little bit of a break, okay? It's time to do that. Now, some of you, I'm feeling, need, it's kind of the opposite for you. Like, you need a little distance from a partner. Maybe they've said something hurtful. Maybe they were not respectful to you. Maybe you're ending something this month, but that's okay. Because once you end something that's not working, you're now going to open up and break open that energy so that something brand new can come in. Okay. So, oh, I dropped it. Hold on one second. <laughs> so don't sweat it too much, but I mean, this would not come as a surprise. This would be something that you're very well aware of that needs to happen. And this is why I say that, because for some of you who are in a relationship, you're having to stand your ground with someone, or you're having to stand up to the family because maybe they don't approve of who you're dating. Um, but also, this is so many different varied meanings for everybody out there. This is you having to stand your ground if someone is saying, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're still single. Why would you choose to be single? I was just watching a TV show last night and it's a pretty famous person who is now 41 years old and she's still single and the whole time she's sitting there going oh you know she's just talking about being single and then she's saying kind of rude things like saying she hates fat people and um she's so happy that she's trim and you know and I'm like do you ever stop and think like <laughs> like you know maybe that's why people don't want to date you but you know 
I think though, now that the reason why I'm bringing that up is like there might be some of you out there who have to let go of some prejudices and stop looking down upon people in order to connect, okay? And yet for others who are still single by choice, don't let people get you down. Don't let people say, oh, like there's something, well, and two, in that TV show, like the people around her were making it seem like like there's no hope for her, you know? Okay, yeah, she's got some part of that person, that celebrity has some prejudices to let go of, but they're making it sound like because she's 41 and single, like somehow there's something really, really wrong with that. And if you don't have somebody by the time you're 40, then forget it. You know? I mean, this is a little nutty. So stand your ground. Again, if you want to be single, you go right ahead and do it. If you feel like, you know, part of your, oh, I already put it away, <laughs> part of your quiet time is you going off on your own and collecting yourself maybe from a breakup that has already happened or whatever. Stand your ground. It's nobody else's business how you process love and how you process romantic partnership. Okay. And the final card we have before we get on to the color card is be honest with yourself. What is it that's really making you happy? Or are you going after something again because everybody else around you says that you should want this? Okay, that you should be doing this. Again, stand your ground. Be honest with yourself. You have to live authentically, okay? No more chatter coming at you. No more people kind of influencing how you do things or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's good to know yourself through another person, but in this day and age, the selfie age, I can't even take it. I just can't even take it. People are so self-centered. They think that you cannot go one second without knowing their opinion on something. And there's too much of this people bossing other people around kind of thing or telling you how you feel. I just had that last week. I got on Facebook and I was just presenting an observation and people thought I needed to be coddled and pitied. And when I was like, stop pitying me, they, a couple of them came at me and I had to block them. Um, very weird. So honor your own feelings be honest with yourself, okay? And don't let other people tell you how, how they think you feel, okay? Because people are doing that too. Well, from my perspective, like you can't see yourself very well, but from my perspective, this is what I'm saying. It doesn't make them right, okay? Don't give people power over you this month, especially. So your color card is coral. Allow flow and synchronicity into your life. The number is 18. I feel like another sign got this. Um, yeah, <laughs> they're saying break the chains, break the chains. And for some of you, you're kind of stuck in your life in one area of your life or another. And part of that being stuck is maybe living under someone else's expectations. But when you break away from that, the flow and synchronicity comes in. Now you're in alignment with your dreams. Now you're moving forward. Now it's happening. All right. Whatever it is that you have been wanting and dreaming of now it can come true. Okay, guys, so there it is. I hope that was helpful. And of course, I'm sending you so much love. Take care.